You're listening to the ESO Network, your station for all things geek. Hey there, welcome to a very special episode 299 of the Soul Forge podcast. Welcome to the Soul Forge, a place of silent mystery, quiet contemplation, and outright mayhem. Join your host, Sean Vanderloo, as he guides you through the adventures of living. Together, we'll talk about life and love, sex and dating, joy and heartache, memories and loss, and so much more. Don't worry, it's not nearly as pretentious as it sounds. Get ready for life, the universe, and everything on The Soul Forge. Hey everybody, it's Sean back at you, and boy oh boy do we have an episode this week. Uh, I don't know what we're talking about yet, because G, our good friend from Amore for your pleasure, invited me to talk with some of her friends, and that's what we're going to do. How are you, G? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's been a while since you've been on the show. It has, because I kind of failed the last time, but that's okay. <laughs> yes, yes. We were supposed to have another one earlier, but uh, miscommunication and yep. blah, blah, whatever. Oh, and See? hectic, hectic, yes. But things are good. Hectic is good. It is good. It is good. Business is booming? It is. That's fantastic. Booming, thrusting, vibing, going, moving, shaking. <laughs> All the things. All, All the, the things. things. Can, can you not bring up sexual innuendos on this podcast? I'm so sorry. I failed miserably. Give me two seconds and already going. No, no, it's fantastic, actually. We're, we are in a sex shop, but right. not a sex shop. Nope. What We're is it called? Proper adults only store. That's right. Yes. Exactly. Yes, so. because it's education and fun, of course. Fun. But open and bright and inviting and welcoming. Yes. And and if there are no innuendos, what's the point? Exactly. That's it. Right? That's it. So, like I said, we're at a store, so if uh, we get interrupted by a customer, well then... <laughs> we'll just bleep them out. <laughs> That's it. Exactly. <laughs> So tell me why you invited me here. Okay, so I have two fabulous friends with us tonight. And one of the things is, yes, of course, we sell all our products. But when I have community members that have these great ideas and they have products they want to sell, we always try to support everybody we can. So my good friend, Rob, he has these amazing blankets that are meant for all sorts of wonderful kind of play. You know, when you spill that lube bottle and it makes a big mess all over your bed and towels just don't cut it anymore, right? That, that's I mean, true, that's true. You could buy out Walmart for all the towels they can have, but then somebody always has to do the laundry. Mm. So these blankets are, I mean, let's be honest, flat out sex blankets. Sex blankets. But I liked the other thing that we called them, Michelle. They were intimate play blankets. Exactly. Intimate play blankets. Right? Now, when you said you could have these and use them for fun, I thought you meant like a cape or something for like role play. Well, by all means, could, you could start with that. Could and you do that? You sure could. I mean, they're little, they're big. You could have capes of all different sizes. Because we've got to bring back capes. We, we do. We uh, do. I've right? been a proponent of capes for years. I'm just too embarrassed to wear them. Oh, well, I wouldn't be with these ones. And a lot of them are reversible, so you could have two different colors. That is amazing. Right? Wow. Right. Perfect for da, Halloween, da, da, da. which is coming up. Exactly. See? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> So, Rob, you're just smiling around walking. Why don't you come around here and get in front of the microphone? Come you, on over, and, Rob. And you can uh, you can tell us who you are, what you're about, and uh, a little bit about these blankets and other things that you want to talk about. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, I'm Rob Nevitt. Um, I'm just a regular guy that uh, was, you know, after COVID and everything, we, uh, my wife and I were having more fun because we were locked inside of our house and uh, <laughs> what, what, what else do you do when you're home? Over here. Honestly, yeah, yeah, it kind of sounded like that, <laughs> right? Cool, <laughs> fun. Um, so we we went on a, a deep dive, and one of the other things that oh, wow. uh, uh, we found on that deep dive was was our community. So inside the community, this this online website that we found, uh, I was looking for recommendations on how to keep my mattress dry. Right, because it was it was a real problem. Because you're spending more time in the bedroom. Absolutely, um, be. as everybody should. As be. everyone should, Let's hours and hours at a time. Uh-huh. Uh, so like fun. <laughs> uh, you know, it was always at the end of the night, just like everybody else's. They want to, they have to fight. Who's going to sleep in the wet spot? 
right? Yep. Uh -huh. Who's going to sleep in the wet spot? Nobody wants to sleep in Nobody the wet spot. Nobody wants to. Right? So the the owner of this, this company, Leno, I spoke with him. Um, he came up with the best name for a product ever. No more wet spots. That no works. more wet spots blanket. It's awesome. And that's what I have here in front that's of That's what you have right there oh, in front of you. Here, it's uh, fold it here. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. it's, it's smaller than I thought. This is a smaller one. This is a travel pack. So oh, actually, a travel blanket. That, that actually comes with two, just in case. Because, you know, you don't want to pack up a giant. We have no. regular size, so like a, a double-sized uh, blanket. Okay. A little bit little smaller than a queen, a little bigger than a double. Um, and we have a queen size blanket. For, you know, you throw it on your bed, it is on there, and you and all your friends can play on there and not have any problems at all. That's important. This one here is what, two feet by three feet? Yeah, about, about that, yeah. So a good travel size. For sure. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Size. Throw, size. Fun size. size. Throw, it in your, throw it in your suitcase and you don't have to worry about, you know, what hap or what the maid's going to think in the morning, right? That's true, that's true. So. <laughs> that's why you get two. Yeah, but then you can only get. You, you, you don't need to get two, two beds that, to, that way either. You can get your, the queen size, upgrade to the queen size mm -hmm. or the king size bed that like a lot of hotels have now. Yes. And then all your friends will fit. And then all your friends fit. <laughs> Correct. Especially for coffee. <laughs> so so yeah. you started selling these here at Amore? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I became so interested and they became such a, a huge help for our life. And they actually, they were, they expanded our, our sexual activity more than any toy we'd ever purchased. Because now we're no longer worried about what's going to happen, right? So we get as, as wet and wild as we want to mm -hmm. now, and we never have to worry about who sleeps in the wet spot. And you're not changing sheets constantly, Correct. and your mattress you can, stays nice and clean. Correct, sir. And the towels can, aren't crispy. And you can kick it. And the best part about these towels are they're 100% washable. Yeah. You just toss it in your washing machine, Perfect. Tide Pod, yeah. and... It feels nice and soft. Absolutely. Um, we've had ours for almost uh, two years now, and it still feels almost the same. Oh, that's awesome. It's 100% polyester, totally washable. Anything you throw in a washing machine or that you can wash out, you can wash out of this. Okay, so this travel size, how much would that cost me? Uh, you get a two-pack of those for $75. Okay, and other sizes are how much? Yeah, so the regular sized is uh, $85, and then the queen size is $125. Okay. And they don't crinkle. That's what yeah, they don't them. crinkle. And it's like here you. we we'll I'll hold this right up to your microphones here. <laughs> this is the blanket. You're not. You're not going to hear the crinkle. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's nice and soft. Um, it's, it's a great beach blanket too. Yeah, it would be a great beach blanket. It it is a great beach blanket. <laughs> it has so many good other uses. I mean, yeah, it's it's for it's for intimacy, but it's also for everything else. We've I have it uh, right now. We have an older dog mm -hmm. who has this past week decided he he can't hold everything anymore uh, we put one down on our chair so that way he's got something he can you know we don't have to worry about our couches anymore and we mm. don't have these crinkly puppy pads all over right. the place and that, that's what you were saying before we started recording that's yeah. before these blankets came along you, you might use a puppy pad on your bed correct or yeah. something like that yeah Towels. some people might have Oveda. Oh. anything to to keep things clean and dry speaking of puppies <laughs> right that's it. we insulted her oh, sorry Veda, not for you yet no that's it i think she sees people walking by the store okay so that's what happens when you podcast at a store that's actually <laughs> operational okay there's right. nothing sexy about a puppy pad. Nothing no. sexy yeah, about a puppy pad. That's the thing. Even I've heard, like, people still use the old mattress protectors, right. but washing and drying those it's still a becomes a pain in the butt. And yeah. part of it is still plastic, and it's going to break down over time. That is true. Uh, like, we use, we washed our blanket a lot. Like, a lot, a lot? A lot, a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> and it still and holds up It still holds later. up 100%. It's nice and absorbent. I, yeah, whenever I do our uh, like a, a vendor show or anything like that, I I wash it up. I usually throw a couple extra Tide Pods in just to make sure, but <laughs> wash it up and and bring it out. And then that's the demo. That's what I say to people. This is this is well used and it's not, still not does. to brag or anything. But well, <laughs> I do. I love to brag. Who doesn't like to brag about that stuff? And and now I've got a, a really good reason to because these these products are amazing. They're helping so many people. And how really long have you been in the store for? Months now? Uh, a couple Maybe months, yeah. A couple months? Yeah, yeah, a couple months. And they're selling well? Flying off the shelves. Yep. Good, that's what you want. Yeah. So I think that the other good thing about them, too, is maybe it helps remove some of the stigma. Because I know, especially for women, one yep. of the biggest things that women are always afraid of is squirting. Right. Because 
some women don't realize that it's natural. They feel they're scared too because again, they don't want to make this mess and they're worried about, you know, all sorts of things. And this helps remove that and make it, yeah, 100% go for it because it's not going to make a mess. Don't worry we about the mattress. The great don't worry event. about the sheets. Don't worry about the sheets. Don't worry about the mattress. Grandma's quilt's fine. We're just going to put this over exactly top. Exactly right. It's all good. Those <laughs> handy dandy t- towels, you know, they'll still be fancy because we have a new blanket. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's a lot of good reasons behind them. Yep. And are you just selling them here at the store? Or do you have a website? No, I have. Uh, they're available online through their web, uh, their website. I have uh, Facebook and Instagram. So I, I'm just an affiliate salesman of okay. this product. So I have my links on uh, my Facebook page, which is NMWS uh, Intimate Blankets, uh, <laughs> on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, perfect. We can probably link that in the show notes. Absolutely. Awesome. And I'll get great. you to send me that through uh, Messenger there so I don't forget. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. And, then if, and like I said, the nice thing about having them at Amori, though, is that you can come in and feel them. Yeah. Um, you can't try them out, of course. <laughs> well, Are you sometimes sure? on a Friday night, I'm lonely. You can, you can, go, you can go to my, uh, my social medias and you can see videos <laughs> of the product in use. Not like that because it's Facebook, <laughs> right? Uh, but you can see the demo that I've set up, which is I, I get a basket and I drape one of those blankets across it, okay? And then I pour in eight liters of water and run a fountain <laughs> for hours. I'm a tickle. You okay there? I'm good. I'm over excited over here, and I have a tickle in my throat. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Just when I said I could be quiet, it never works. That never, <laughs> never works. works. That's okay. No. All right. Okay, so before we continue on with the podcast, let's play a promo for another podcast right here on the ESO Network. And we'll be right back. I'm Drew Leiter. And I'm Cletus Jacobs. And we're inviting you to join us as we dwell into the dawn of the DC. We'll be reviewing new titles such as The Unstoppable Doom Patrol, Shazam, Green Lantern, Titans, Justice Society of America, and more. We'll also be reviewing DC Television's final season of The Flash, Titans and Doom Patrol. Join us every week on the Earth Station DCU Podcast, part of the ESO Network. All right, and we're back. Okay, so Michelle, you have some things to talk about. Why don't you get over here near the microphone and uh, you can tell me some stuff. Okay. Things and stuff. Things and stuff. Um, So the things and stuff that I do is host... Um, events and monthly get-togethers we call munches for our kink community. What do you call them? Uh, munches. Munches. So it's a social event in a public place like a restaurant okay. where we get together. Um, it's a safe space to meet people, mm-hmm. to catch up with old friends, um, and just have a place where you can talk to people um, about the things that you're into. Um, well, that sounds nice. And just meet people mm-hmm. who share a common interest. Um, so my passion, so to, so to speak, is to create a safe community for people to feel um, that they have the ability to to step into the world of kink if they want to, okay. um, to try things out. So we've had two dungeon parties um, in the city now where we have... Um, things like a St. Andrew's Cross set up and a spanking bench so people can give them a try, see if you like that stuff. Or, you know, for those people who are but don't have those kinds of things at home mm-hmm. and want to give them a try, we've been you know, able to provide a space for people to do that and just have a fun, a fun night with friends. And how has that been received by the community? Uh, by the community as a whole, I don't know, but uh, very well. <laughs> but very well. So we had a, a New Year's Eve event okay. um, that we sold eighty-five tickets for, um, which far exceeded our expectations when we decided to to do that. Um, and then this past party, summer party that we had, I think we had around 60, 65 70. people. Almost seventy. And it was, I mean, it was just a random Saturday. Okay. Like, you know, it yeah. was not a special day or nothing. We just, it was a Saturday. The venue was available, so we just decided to do it. Oh. Um, and we had people coming in from the community okay. who had really no idea what we were doing, oh, but they okay. decided to hear us out what we were doing, and they came in to check it out. And So newbies, um, you mean? Yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. They just kind of 
were, they were coming to the bar just to have a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the bar. <laughs> and so, yeah. you know, we have, um, for things like that, we have a waiver that we ask people to mm. sign. Um, and, you know, and so they decided to stay and everybody seemed to have a really good time. So oh, good. it's just, uh, it's just, like I said, a safe space for people who have similar interests and want to have fun. Okay. And we got new community members out of it. And we did. We got some new people who found out about, you know, the, the kink community as a whole. Mm-hmm. and Because and, uh, some people don't know that, that there is even a kink community in Sault Ste. Marie or where to find one. Mm-hmm. That's true. Where would you find one? So all of our events are posted um, through the website FetLife.com. Okay. So um, they're all posted under the name Sinner Sanctuary. Sinner Sanctuary. Um, and then I also have an Instagram um, account, Sinner Sanctuary SSM. Oh, okay. And so uh, things are posted on there and linked back to FetLife yeah. for the event information. Yeah. And of course, that's like we always, that's one of the sites when I get people, because of course we constantly get asked, mm-hmm. you know, what kind of community is there? <laughs> like you can say it loud and proud, trust me. Right. <clears throat> so it's, I'm so glad that here's another stigma that we're helping mm-hmm. to erase and we make sure that people are, you know and FetLife really is one of the best sites for it because again you can also monitor um, and you can remove unsafe people and the mm-hmm. trolls right, and, right. Um, mm-hmm. it's a great way to post because realistically it is only like-minded people that are yeah. on that of course, Sites, so. I, I knew people back <clears throat> when I lived in Timmins who were yep. always talking about Fet Life mm-hmm. this and Fet Life that, but I, I never joined it, so I don't know anything about it. It's, so if I wanted to know or get involved, or should I be scared? Like, no. what, what's what's the deal? So F- Fet Life itself is basically like Facebook for yeah. kinky people. Okay, it's just a social media where you can see what your friends are posting. You can find events, meet other people in your community mm. who have similar interests. Um, and no, there's nothing to, there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, I think that there has been a lot of stigma about the whole world of kink, BDSM, any of it. Um, and there's so many different avenues that people can be into where within the community, we're not all into the same thing, Mm -hmm. but the great part of having a community is it's this place where you can meet other people talk about the things that you like, find other people who are into what you're, you know, interested in, Mm -hmm. learn from people. And it's just, it doesn't have to be scary unless you want it to be scary. Oh boy. And then then it can be scary. Because there's all kinds of flavors. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. Okay. We just don't, we just don't do the vanilla flavors. Right. We leave those out. Well, because that's just the regular stuff. This is, (laughs) this is the more advanced. Yes. And you, gee, have a whole room dedicated to it in the back of the shop. we ever. (laughs) And it's funny because like when, that's had the store. It was such a cute little wall of like, ooh, these handcuffs. Fuzzy handcuffs. And, yeah, and, <laughs> and like this paddle. And, and then when we were on second line, it was a little bit of a bigger wall. And then when we moved here, she's like, you have an entire room now. I said, yes, and that entire mm-hmm. room is now getting too small. <laughs> you, you've taken me back there, and there are some scary things. But they, <laughs> but they don't have to be, and this is why the munches are happening. Mm-hmm. Exactly that, because the munch, nothing happens at them. Right. It's yeah. literally it's, a safe space yeah. to say, I have a question about this, mm-hmm. or have you heard of this? What do you think about this? And Oh dear God! What is that? And mm-hmm. but it's a safe space to do it. Of course. So these munches need to keep happening, and mm-hmm. everybody, you know, they're welcome. Mm-hmm. It, Absolutely. Regardless if you have a little bit of vanilla in you, we'll get that out of you and move you on to chocolate. And, oh you know, boy. Keep upgrading you and get you some nuts in there. And- oh my! <laughs> oh. So so how often do you hold these events? Every month. Okay. Um, we have a, a munch every month, um, and then. As far as like our dungeon events, we've done two so far. Um, so it's been like every six or seven months at this point. Okay. We are planning on hopefully, if we can find a venue, another New Year's event. Um, and we're hoping to do a Halloween bash. We did Halloween last year too, actually. Well, that um, does sound like fun because I have been looking for a Halloween party to go yeah, to. So. Well, <laughs> October 28th is our Halloween party. Okay. Um, and it, like one of the good things is that we have Sudbury, which is our, like, it's not super close, yeah. but they have a large community there, and we've made a lot of connections mm. out there. Um, and they have 
people who do like vendor shows not something that you know we'd really like to get going here is it like event bring vendors For in sure. um, with all the different kinds of things that they make and stuff mm-hmm. and do workshops do and... workshops and it's just it's it's hard just for a little old us to do it on our own but as we build the community um those things hopefully will will come mm-hmm. and there's yeah there's a lot going on in Sudbury that we like to get out to learn from as well makes so. sense yeah awesome okay. We'll get there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, so if somebody wanted to join here in town, it's fetlife.com slash Center Sanctuary SSM. So on there, if you go to the magnifying search thing. So the easiest way to do it is if you sign up for a new account on FetLife, yeah. mm-hmm. you can search for the Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario Munch Group. Oh, it's, ah. so it's Sue O N uh, Munch yes. Group. Is what it's called okay. um, and that's we have it's a basically a private group so everybody is vetted before mm. they're able to come to one of our monthly munches mm-hmm. so we just ask for you know somebody to send us privately a face photo we just want to make sure that the people who are coming out are we, we're just trying to be safe of course for the community um, we're not trying to be creepy <laughs> <laughs> and so we just ask people to um, send us a face photo then we add you to the group and so all the information is in there on how to attend one of the events okay perfect um, and as well the links to the events and all the dates and everything the Excellent. Location's hidden. Yeah. yeah so the location of the monthly events is hidden from the general public once you're part of the Sioux Ontario uh, munch group you can see that again it's just like that layer of protection uh-huh. people are very private of course and we try to be discreet <clears throat> so when we go to currently when we meet for our monthly um, get together we're in a private room mm-hmm. so other patrons at the restaurant don't aren't even, hearing our conversation yeah we're so it's completely safe and open for everybody to just talk about whatever you want good that sounds awesome yeah okay and Amore always has the info too. Right. Because right? Yeah. Amore is yeah. as a business on set yeah. to help connect okay. people through the business and to make people feel welcome. So we always know the information for the munches and we can pass on. And I also have, you know, passed on info saying, okay, so this person was asking, <laughs> not safe, you know, and mm-hmm. I help decide. You know. Right. And she's been a great support as well of all of our events, helping giving us door prizes or oh, selling nice. tickets for us here. Oh, it kind of goes hand in hand. <laughs> it yeah. Or, you know, hand to thigh, uh, ankle to ankle. Hands behind the back. Bed pose. <laughs> Whatever works. Whatever works. And with our new blankets now, it works everywhere. <laughs> That's exactly right. So, I want to buy a sex blanket. Where do I go? Come to Amore, 331 Cora Road. 331 Cora Road. Open seven days a week. Excellent. Right? Right All on right. the corner of Cora and Douglas. It sure is can't miss us excellent shouldn't miss us shouldn't no that definitely not <laughs> uh, i agree okay anything else we need to talk about or is that pretty much it i i'm happy <laughs> <laughs> you're going home to your blanket aren't you <laughs> i'll go home to my blanket now too <laughs> i have to cuddle when i get home <laughs> okay all right and on that note dear listeners hope you enjoyed something new and exciting and that you learned something but until next time remember this has been episode 299 300 is coming up don't forget to send those emails and mp3s so i can play something exciting on next time's episode but until then remember be kind to past versions of yourselves that didn't know the things you know now thank you for listening to another episode of the soul forge podcast your support is greatly appreciated and we hope you'll tune in again next time Remember that you can visit soulforgepodcast.com for all of our social media links. And don't forget to share the show with everyone you know. The Soul Forge Podcast is your best source for living your best life. Think about it. This has been a broadcast of the ESO Network. Be part of the crew and help support our shows by donating to our ESO Patreon or by shopping for the Tee Public Store which can all be found at www.esonetwork.com. The ESO Network, your station for all things geek.